We knew this day was gonna come someday. And now it's officially here. We've run out of litter. There is no more. And there's none on Hivaoa, and there's none on this island. And even asking people, they're like, just go get sand on the beach. What's wrong with you? Why would you buy litter? So we are going with a bucket in tow. Sand scooper, strain out the super fine stuff. We're going sand for kitty litter. Hoping the cats don't like revolt against the change. <laughs> Mutiny. Oh. And to top off the challenge, we're going to use the paddleboard to paddle over to the beach, collect said sand, and bring it back. I'm ready, let's go. Okay. Turn into the interweb before we go digging into the sand, just to make sure we're not doing anything crazy. DIY. Why are you not working? And it's too slow. <laughs> that video, we don't have the bandwidth for that. Five homemade cat litter substitutions. Homemade cat litter ideas. Seven steps. First one, how to make cat litter in home. Okay, shred some newspapers, preferably using paper shredder. <laughs> we don't have a paper shredder. We couldn't buy one here. There's no newspaper delivery as far as I know. And literally haven't seen a newspaper since we've been here. So this won't work at all, but it is very interesting. Soak the paper, warm water. Okay, drain the water, baking soda. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Squeeze the remaining water out. Crumble over a, uh, ah. Here we go, it will take a few days to dry. This is probably assuming you live in a normal house with humidity control or air conditioning on a boat. If it takes three days in a house, it's either never gonna dry on a boat or it will take twice as long. All right, so no, that's definitely not an option. Homemade cat litter ideas. Cat litter is messy, blah, blah, blah. I use equine bedding pellets. They're made from sawdust. I don't think they have equine or equine uh, stuff here that their horses are just tied up to trees and they eat grass so no like major stables we did look at all the hardware stores and the grocery stores to see if they had pine pellets or cedar shavings or anything like that couldn't find anything that was like a viable solution for like a packaged litter uh, let's see shred some newspaper okay we know that doesn't work um please do not use chemicals they're harmful for your cats okay all right that's it for that one five homemade cat litter substitutes Newspaper and junk mail, okay, that's a no. Wood shavings, all right, I already talked about that. Chicken feed, apparently you can use chicken feed for a litter. Uh, they just feed their chickens grass and whatever's natural, so that's a no-go. And sand, it's no secret that cats are attracted to sand boxes. Sand clumps very well when it's wet and does not hold cat urine odors. For added odor protection, add about a cup of baking soda. The downside of using sand as kitty litter is that it's easily tracked all over the house in your cat's paws. Voila. Okay, ready? Yep. When I said we were going to paddle to the beach, I really meant he was going to paddle to the beach. I'm in charge of holding the bucket. I got to paddle. Yay! Ooh, we can race the local. I don't think we'd win. It was an exciting entrance. Couldn't film it. Too scary. <laughs> Shaking a little bit. There's like rocks everywhere. It's all coral. <laughs>
right, the idea is I am collecting all of the small rocks in my little sifter here, sifting out all the super fine sand, thinking that we can use the small pebbles as litter and we'll be able to scoop out the poop and then rinse the rocks with the strainer and then let them dry and then put it back in the litter box. So it's reusable, it's eco-friendly. I'm trying to be really positive about this. <laughs> I think it's gonna work, I really do. I hope it's gonna work. It's amazing what you can spend your day on as a cruiser. Four hours going to every grocery, walking to every grocery store, and then walking to the hardware store, getting looked at funny, paddling back to the boat, and then paddling over to shore, and then digging in the sand for rocks. It's like boom! It's it's now sundowner time. It's absolutely gorgeous. The bugs are starting to come out. We need to get back to the boat so we can have a sundowner. And that's a day. Grocery stores and playing in the sand. Like <laughs> a fulfilling day of sifting sand. I think that ought to do it. Hopefully, I've left all the creatures behind. Let's go dry out some sand <laughs> or rocks. I'll get the bucket. Hi Cleo! Yes, we're back with your sand. It's about time. I gotta pee. <laughs> She's got business to take care of. First time this hair, hair dryer's been used in a couple of years. <laughs> Rinsed it, washed it, rinsed it, dried it with the hair dryer, and now I am mixing in baking soda. So. Uh, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens tonight. Yep. Later update! <laughs> I have to say, after about a week of doing the litter test, it works. It definitely works if you're in an absolute bind or in a pinch just like we were, but I cannot recommend this. Um, it's just, we've got two litter boxes going, we've got wet rocks and the colander for the airflow, and then the top will dry, and then you move the rocks to a bucket, and then from that bucket, you let it dry even longer. And then you have another colander with the dry rocks for the dry litter box. It's... Does that sound confusing? Because it kind of is. It's like this flip-flop. And the reason is because urine. Cat urine? If you've ever smelled cat urine, it's very... Pungent? Ah, oh, yes. Uh, what's the, uh, an anchor man? The, uh, the cologne? <laughs> it's, it's like... Sex Panther by Odeon. It's illegal in nine countries. Yep. It's made with bits of real panther. So you know it's good. It's quite pungent. Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's a formidable scent. <laughs> it stings the nostrils. Yeah, you don't want that. So I'm literally doing this twice, sometimes three times a day, depending on how much the cats are going. Uh, I feel like my life is revolving around the cats poop and pee. And then they eat. So now it's like, there goes half my day. <laughs> Not realistically, but the rocks get everywhere. They're all over the deck. They're all inside the cabin, but they're not, it's not horrible. I think sand might even be worse because it would track even worse. I just, I, I'm really excited to get to Tahiti and uh, Possibly hopefully get some litter. find some litter. So 
the report is, yes, it works. No, I don't recommend it. Yes, it's a pain in the ass. And it's gonna suck for passage. And it's gonna, oh man, I forgot about that. Crap. Yeah, it's gonna really suck for passage. How are we gonna dry out boxes and buckets of litter or rock? Underway. Underway. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Yay, litter! <laughs> I love the cats. I love you, cats. But man, I should have provisioned better. It's my fault. It's my fault. you might as well click over to our website right there I wrote a blog post and I listed the cats all-time favorite litter and food not sponsored and for all my fellow travelers I know you keep asking for the full scoop on what it's like to bring a cat into a new country and specifically how to get them into fridge Polynesia they are still in quarantine and we finish the process up in Tahiti as soon as we do that I promise I will share the full scoop Okay, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.